The engine coolant temp sensor, coolant temp sensor or ECT for short, is used to read the temperature within your vehicle's cooling system. This is one of the most accurate ways for your engine computer to be able to determine the actual temperature of the engine. Now, today's engine computers use this temp reading to be able to optimally calculate fuel, turn those radiator fans on and off, and inform the driver of an overheating condition via the gauge or the warning lamp. Now, older cars used to use two different components for this task. They would use a coolant temp sensor like this to directly run the gauge on your dash and a coolant temperature switch to turn those cooling fans on and off. Now, you'll typically find your ECT on or near the engine's thermostat housing, but that's not always going to be the case. Surface information is going to be your best resource here to find the location of the sensor. Now, when you're replacing the ECT sensor, once you actually find it, there are some challenges that come with it. Because this sensor is threaded into a port that contains engine coolant, you always want to make sure that your engine is cold to the touch. Also, with the engine being cold, remove your radiator cap to relieve any sort of potential pressure that may be stored in the cooling system. Upon removal of this sensor, you're going to leak out some coolant. It's inevitable. If you work quickly here, it'll ensure that you don't lose too much coolant and have to add too much when you're topping it off later. Now, many ECTs are pipe threaded, meaning the further that we install this sensor into its hole, the, the tighter it's going to get. The, th the thread diameter actually expands out. Take care not to install it too far or force it because you can crack that housing that it's threaded into. Your service information should include a torque spec for this. If the sensor requires sealer like this one, it's going to come coated. If it's not coated, it's not required. Like this one has an O-ring on it. Remember to always top your cooling system back off after you're done replacing your sensor. Now, if your ECT is failing, you can end up with quite a few different drivability symptoms. It really depends on the vehicle and its strategy to deal with the sensor. An old car may flood out and not start, where a newer car might just set that check engine light on. It's possible the cooling fans may be on all the time, or they may not be coming on at all. Again, it's going to really depend on the strategy and how the computer deals with a failing ECT sensor. A few common related trouble codes include a P0016, P0017, and a P0125. So, why should you get yourself an NTK engine coolant temp sensor? Well, as with every NTK sensor, you're getting yourself a premium quality product with outstanding support and industry-leading innovation that's been bred directly from our company's OE heritage. These attributes and more truly make NTK the sensor specialist.